and penalty of sin. By this man, you're still under Hashish. If you're still under the power of Hashish, you're still under the power of sin. But Jesus Christ has made us free. We have been set free from the bondage to sin, from the bondage to our sexual lusts. We have been set free by the Lord Jesus Christ. He has made us free men. We were once the servants of sin, but now we have been made the sons of God by faith in Jesus Christ. The eternal Son of God. Only Jesus Christ has the power to deliver you from He's been power for the past 10 years. There's no other power in the universe that can deliver you from sin. But Jesus Christ came into this world as man. He lived a perfect life as man under the law. Jesus Christ was the Son of Man. And the Son of Man and the Son of God were one. And he came into this world as the perfection of humanity. And in that perfection of humanity, Jesus Christ worshipped the Father perfectly. Jesus Christ loved his neighbor as himself perfectly. He raised the dead. He healed the cripples. He caused the blind to see and the deaf to hear. No one else ever loved his neighbor as himself as Jesus Christ did. He fulfilled all the law and the prophets. And he obeyed God perfectly. Jesus Christ loved God the Father perfectly. And he loved his neighbor as himself perfectly. And having obeyed the law of God, he was then willing to die for those who had broken it. He was willing to be made a curse for those who had broken it. Because it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangs upon a tree. And Jesus Christ went through the curse of death. He went through the curse of a broken law. We all should have been cursed because we have all broken the holy law of God. But Jesus Christ was willing to be made a curse for us. Jesus Christ was made a curse for us so that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And that's what the Christian is. The Christian has not imputed righteousness. God has imputed his righteousness to those who have believed on his Son. And that is why we are clothed in the righteousness of Christ. We are now no longer under the power of sin, but we have been made children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. And you can be set free from the power of sin over your life. You can be set free from your cursing and your bitterness. You can be set free from your drug addictions and your murders and your adulteries. Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. And that is why we are here, so that you as sinners might know that you are set free by the power of God, by the power of his Holy Spirit. When a man is born again of God, born from above, born of the eternal spirit of God, born of the word of God, he is then declared righteous. God declares him righteous because he has faith in the eternal Son of God, in the Son of Man, the one who alone has made atonement for sin. Have you been set free from the burden of sin? Your religion cannot set you free. But Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. He came to give recovery of sight to the blind, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And now today we are preaching the day of vengeance of our God, because Jesus Christ, when he comes again, He's coming in vengeance to take vengeance on all of them that do not know God, on all of them 
that do not obey the gospel is coming in vengeance and it's a righteous vengeance that's why the angels in heaven rejoice when the judgments are poured out on planet earth because God is a righteous God verse 17 we have just been remembered anybody who doesn't believe in the Lord Jesus it says man woman small big we thank God for the Jewish nation because Jesus Christ said salvation is of the Jews and without the Jewish people we would not have a savior without the Jewish people the Muslims would not have a prophet Isa without the Jewish nation we would be finished but praise God for the Jewish people. You praise God for the children of Israel. Praise God that through that nation, God has given us a Savior. You must be saved from your sin. If you die in your sin, you have no hope in the grave where you're going. After death comes the judgment and there is no repentance in the grave where you are going. There is no repentance in the grave where you're going. Now is the acceptable day. It's not for you to know the times or the seasons. That's what Jesus Christ said when they said, when will you come again? Will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Jesus said, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. And so we do not know the day of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, but he is coming as a thief in the night when they shall say peace and prosperity. As I heard Donald Trump say this past week, when they shall say peace and security, sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. That is what our Lord Jesus Christ told us. When they shall say peace and security, sudden destruction comes upon them and they shall not escape. Jesus Christ is coming again to judge this world in righteousness. He is the only one qualified to judge because he's the only one who ever lived without sin and he wants to be your saviour. Jesus Christ came all the way from heaven to save you from your sin. He came to die in the place of the worst of sinners that the worst of sinners by faith in him might be saved and we know what it is to be saved by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I wish this man could be saved too. I don't hate him. We love our enemies. We are not of a religion that curses the Jews and the Christians. No. We are told to love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who dislike and use you. And curse you. Liar, you donkey, and the Mr. Donkey, and the Mr. Donkey. Okay, this man said, what about the fake Jews? Those of those who say that they are believers in the Lord and are not, and they lie, they are hypocrites. And the hypocrites and the unbelievers shall have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. If a person is a hypocrite, he will go. It's a terrible judgment. But the Jewish nation was the nation that was chosen by God for the Messiah to come. Jesus Christ came through the Jewish nation and we praise God for that nation. We thank God for the Jewish people. We thank God that he has preserved Let that nation right up to the present day. We have just been remembering the memorial, Liar. how many million Jews were killed by Adolf Hitler. Your front seat always in the videos. That was that so many Jewish people should be slaughtered. Allah. 
Lord. And then the high priest of Israel said, oh, His blood be on us Let and on our Lord. children. Oh, <laughs> and that is why the blood of Jesus Christ has been are you, the Jewish are you an example of the Oh, what a terrible thing it has Lord. been. Do it. But my are dear you an example friends, of the prophet God will if you have arise then don't do it. If you're not, and then have you don't mercy the demon. upon Zion because the time speak to favor her, yea, the said time is come. God is going to have mercy on the people of Israel. And however much they are scattered over the face of the earth, they will be regathered into their own land. We thank God today that Israel is a state, that there is a Jewish state. When there are 21 Arab states, there's only one Jewish state. We thank God for the state of Israel where the Jewish people are allowed to live as in peace. And we thank God for that. And when the nations of the world gather against Israel, God has said in his word that he will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. And when all the nations come against Israel, God will act for Israel and he will deliver them. Look what happened in the Yom Kippur War. Did anybody believe? Did anybody believe that the Jewish people would have been delivered when there were tanks, when there were aircraft everywhere around them? But God delivered them at the Six Day War, and God will deliver them again. And all those who curse Israel shall be cursed. All those who bless Israel shall be blessed. But those who curse Israel will be cursed with everlasting curse. And that is why Jesus Christ came. He said, bless those who curse you. This man likes to curse the Jews and the Christians. But we bless him. Jesus said, bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. Pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you. That you may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. He makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good. And he sends rain on the just and on the unjust. And so Jesus Christ teaches us to love our enemies. Does your religion teach you to love your enemies? No, it teaches you to hate your enemies. But we are told to love our enemies. No one ever spoke like Jesus Christ. When they sent people to arrest him, when the Jewish authorities sent people to arrest him, he said, they came and they said, why didn't you arrest him? And they said, never man spoke like this man. No one has ever spoken like the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the eternal word of God that came into the world to save sinners. He is God. And whether he saved James from his sin, or whether he saved John from his sin, or whether he saved me from my sin, Christ has set us free from the power of sin.